Hi, I have a story I want to share about Rab David as to his truism and what made him so attractive to the Bahram. As a high school student, we're looking for truth. And we were pretty street smart. We could smell truth. And Rab David was truth. And he would provide an environment where we could ask questions, any questions, uh, questions we'd be afraid to ask in normal circumstances. But his answers were true and from the heart. And that in itself was an encouragement for us to want more. And today you hear a lot about fake news. Well, back in the 70s, uh, the fake news is an old thing. Uh, as a member of the Jewish Defense League, we went to a lot of demonstrations, peaceful and not so peaceful, um, to bring the issue of Soviet Jewry to the front pages of the newspaper. And the idea was, if people were talking about it, perhaps we could put pressure on our politicians to take action. And the Yeshiva Shevelt was under the impression that the best thing to do was to learn a base medish and say, till him. And, and that concept really didn't fly with a lot of us. And that was the discussion one Friday afternoon. And Reb David was presenting the Yeshiva Shevelt's view. And then when the bell rang at 12.30, he says, okay, Nachum, now it's your turn. And I was quite perturbed because all my friends wanted to go home. They were looking at me and saying, Nachum, finish it up, leave it, uh, you know, what's the big deal? And I was upset that I didn't get a chance to talk. Reb David sensed this, and he said, listen, nobody's leaving till Nachum gets a chance to finish to speak. And I started off by saying, everybody believes this garbage. And my next words were going to be that they read in the newspapers, but I never got this far. Once I said the last words came out garbage, Rabbi David thought that chas v'shalom I was referring to unzera heila g'ksubim. And um, he was so distraught that, that I could say this that he pulled up his hands and so fast and he was in so much pain, he was reeking in pain that he cut his scalp and he was bleeding. He was bleeding. I remember Yitzhak Spiwak, who was sitting in front of me, said, he turned to me and said, Nachum, you're dead. That's how, uh, I won't say angry, Reb David didn't get angry, but he was so upset. And he came running to me, at which point I, I explained that I, I was referring to the newspapers. And, and this held such an important meaning to me because I didn't feel so strongly about anything in my life. And, and this was so contradictory to Reb David's thought out, worked out, ironed out beliefs that he was, he cut himself, he was bleeding. And, and this meant a tremendous amount to me because this Rebbe, Reb David, he, he wasn't in it for the money. He wasn't in it for the covet. He ran away from covet. It was just all about what can I do to get this message to the Talmudim. And he did get the message to the Talmudim. And, you know, everything that we experience in life, it's because of the exposure we had to Reb David that we can make a right decision. And... Other Rebbeim who are in Chinuch today could do a lot to learn from him as to how to reach out to every Talmud.